Hey everyone, we are going to be looking at this multi-day severe weather outbreak throughout today and tomorrow for the central and southern U.S. Before we could get into the forecast, be sure to subscribe to the channel if you are new and turn on post notifications so you won't miss a single upload or live stream on the channel. I will be doing a live stream later today on this severe weather outbreak and possibly one tomorrow. Right now, we're looking at the Storm Prediction Center outlook for today. This is the severe weather outlook. As you can see, they have issued an enhanced risk a level 3 out of 5 for severe storms across portions of Kansas and Missouri. We also have a level 2 out of 5, which is in that yellow slight risk for severe storms. That is also in Kansas and Missouri and now reaching into portions of Nebraska. And lastly, we have that marginal risk for severe storms in the dark green color. That's a level 1 out of 5 in that dark green color, like I said. And that's reaching from Texas to Oklahoma, Kansas, Missouri, Nebraska, even a little bit of Iowa there, and some of Colorado. That's where you can see isolated severe storms throughout today. Rather than the slight and enhanced risk, you will see more isolated and weak storms. Here's your tornado risk throughout today, and we do, in fact, have a 5% risk for tornadoes in portions of Kansas and Nebraska. This is where you can see a definite higher risk for tornadoes throughout today. Definitely multiple tornadoes will be possible in that brown shaded region. And in the green shaded region, you can see a couple brief tornadoes throughout that green region throughout today and tonight. Here's that wind risk. We do have a 30% chance for winds 70 miles per hour or greater in that red region. In the 15% chance region, which is in the yellow, we do have a 15% chance for that 60 miles per hour wind gusts or higher and a 60 mile and a 5% risk for 60 mile per hour wind gusts and higher in the brown region. For the hair risk, we have a 30% hatch risk for 2 inch size hail and higher in that red and that hatch shaded regions. That's, of course, where you can see upwards of 2 inch plus size hail in that region. So you're going to see some very large hail throughout today and tonight in that region. For the 15% chance, Region, you are going to see a 15% chance for one inch shots hail and higher. And in the brown shaded region, you you do have a 5% chance, 5 chance for one inch shots hail or higher. Now, we do have a slight risk for tomorrow. I will be talking about that severe weather event for tomorrow in tomorrow's video. So make sure you do stay tuned for that. But we do, in fact, have that slight risk for severe storms, a 5% chance for tornadoes, a 15% chance for 60 mile per hour wind gusts and higher, and a 15% chance hatch region for 2 inch size hail and higher in that hatch region. We're looking at around 2 or 3 p.m. in central time right now. And as you can see, we currently have some rain showers reaching into the Midwest and even some more heavier, possibly thunderstorms in there embedded. And we even have some snow showers over portions of Colorado. As we move forward throughout today, we get to around 4 to 5 p.m., kind of that time frame. And you see one little supercell developing in portions of western Kansas. That's going to be moving about a northeastern direction here. And as we move forward even more to around 5 or 6 p.m., around that time frame, we see more supercells developing along this dry line. And by the time we get to around 6 or 7 p.m., we see a whole bunch of supercells developing here and even poss possibly a line of supercells develop developing by the time it gets around 7 or 8 p.m. And you're seeing definitely more of a cluster of supercells by the time you get to around uh, the 7 or 8 p.m. time frame. And now you're reaching into more of an 8 p.m. to 9 p.m. time frame here. And you're seeing a very messy cluster of thunderstorms. And this is really going to minimize the tornado risk if it does become this clustered. Because it's just going to be very messy here. And as we're reaching into now 9 p.m., we do see some supercells over here that are looking quite tornadic. Um, but the majority of those supercells are going to be in that huge cluster. So that tornado risk may minimize during the night. And as we're reaching into um, even around 11 to 12 a.m. here for Sunday, we are seeing some big swaths, which is meaning you could see some tornado activity within these. And this is headed straight towards Kansas City. So if you live in Kansas City, you're going to see some very strong possible tornadic storms throughout the night. 
So definitely stay tuned to my live stream that will be uh, all night here that will give you all the details. And as we move forward here, those strong storms really move into now Missouri and that continues throughout now the morning hours. So 3 a.m. Uh, those storms are now headed through Missouri and even more supercell type thunderstorms developing here. By the time we get to around uh, 4 a.m. or 5 a.m. here and those storms continue as you head throughout 7 a.m. here and now it's continue throughout Missouri. Those should be weakening by the time we get to around the lunchtime period. Uh, but you still may see some storms there, not as severe. Now here's those tornado parameters. These are all the tornado ingredients put into one model here. So as you move forward throughout today, you do have some risk for tornado tornadoes developing along this whole area right here. And as we move forward, though, that tornado risk, like I said, is very minimal throughout the night. And as we move forward here to the early morning hours, we do have a very decent tornado risk across portions of the Kansas and Missouri border. And that continues a southern direction over around the Springfield, Missouri area. You may see also a, a small tornado risk for those storms hitting those areas. So we may see some spin up tornadoes for the early morning hours of Sunday, which is Mother's Day. So definitely be weather aware on the morning hours or even the late, very late night overnight hours of Saturday into Sunday if you live in any of these areas that I did discuss. If you did enjoy the video, be sure to like the video and also subscribe to the channel if you are new and turn on post notifications so you won't miss a single upload or live stream on the channel. And like I said, I will be doing a live stream on this severe without break throughout today and possibly tomorrow. But anyways, stay safe.